Hello, welcome to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Open Series in Baltimore. I'm Nick Miller alongside Carl Indres. How you doing? I'm doing good today. Now you've got a brew that I'm a big fan of. <laughs> and a long time ago in Standard and even some Extended, we saw Doran, the Siege Tower, walking around, yep. causing some problems. You have brought that back in what I'm calling Tree Folk Beatdown. Uh, I like to call it Baby Got Back because right. Duran himself is Sir Mix-a-Lot because he likes big butts. I understand your reference. Yes. <laughs> I probably just dated myself, but... Yeah. So, it's a Doran deck, of course, but you've got Noble Hierarch and Tree Folk Harbinger here. Mm -hmm. Really mixing the stew. Obviously, the Harbinger can get you Doran, yep. or it can get you a land. Yes. And then from there, you're just playing efficient creatures which become efficient beaters thanks to Doran. That is correct. How'd you come to this build a deck? Because you got a smattering of stuff. You don't have a ton of numbers in anything except for your main cards. You got a couple of spell skites running around, a couple of Nyx Fleece Ram, some one ofs. Um, honestly, I, w uh, I just winged it. Uh, this deck was literally built in a fever of sleep deprivation at 4 a.m. Friday morning. Okay, so like As all good decks. So like all good decks thrown together at the last second. Yes. All right, what brings one to play? Uh, Baby got back, as you're putting it. <laughs> well, um, the idea was, uh, I've always wanted to build a Duran deck. I, ever since Duran was in standard, I just never had the card pool for him until just until I, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to build it uh, with what I've got. Now, uh, the numbers shifted around a bit. There was Tarmogoyf in the deck at one point, right. but I, since I'm not running any Planeswalkers, I can't really take full advantage of him, so I decided to cut him in favor of the Aetherswarn Cannonist and the, uh, and the Scavenging Ooze. Scavenging Ooze I can take a lot better advantage of. Yes. You get to mess around with their Tarmogoyfs with right. your Scavenging Ooze. Exactly. I actually want to go up to a second Scavenging Ooze, but I'm not sure where to fit it in just yet. Okay. Another interesting point here, you've got four Aether Vial, a card we've seen in like the Hate Bear strategy in Modern mm -hmm. and Merfolk, but now seeing it in a green deck looks very powerful with the cards you have here. Yes, uh, the whole goal is to basically cheat counter spells and cheat summoning sickness. So mm -hmm. I'll, if, if I can turn one a vial, I will snap turn one a vial every game I possibly can. So I can get Hierarchs in under counter magic as so they are ready to tap on my turn. I, can, I vialed in Treefold Carpengers on my opponent's end step to get Duran ready for the next turn. Right. So you've got a lot of sequencing you can do. Another interesting here, thing here with Corsair Crufix, Standard standout, a 2-4, of course, great with Corsair, mm -hmm. but as you mentioned to me earlier today with Harbinger, you can set up the land drop to get for free with yes. Corsair. I have not had a chance to do that yet. I want to do it this tournament, but it'll happen. if it happens, it'll be great. Uh, it will be wonderful, course, and I will, I will cackle madly. You've got the one of Murmuring Bosk that you can get with the Harbinger, of course, mm -hmm. or any of your fetch lands, because yes. it's still a forest. And of course, you've got some Siege Rhinos, and a Tassiger, which have just been everywhere in modern and yeah. standard. Um, Siege Rhino is, is kind of a caving to the popular. I mean, also Siege Rhino is, has five toughness, so right. it hits harder with Duran out. Tassiger is amazing. Uh, I, he, his recursion ability is amazing. He comes down for the cheap. Um, I haven't really been able to utilize him too, too well, because he's only shown up. I'm only running him as a one of. He's right. only shown up a couple times. But he caught, he makes the opponent pause. It's like, do I kill the Duran or do I kill the Tassiger? And it, it makes it real. It puts them in a really tough spot. Yeah, in a deck with Vile, you actually get to use your Tassiger because you're not spending your mana on your creatures. Right. Now, of course, you also got some recursion with your one of Sword, and then you have some uh, Path Exiles and some Thoughtseize and Abrupt Decays as your disruption yes. package. Uh, basically, Abrupt Decay is just really good. Uh, so much in the format costs three or less. Yeah. Uh, it, it basically negates anything Twin has to offer. Um, it also it can be really good against Affinity. It can be uh, it can be pretty decent against uh, opposing Abzan decks because it hits their low cost stuff and their mana right. dorks, put it, making forcing them to play fairer. Right. Um, Thoughtseize is. I, I wanted to run a lot more disruption than just the Thoughtseizes but I don't have the room for it because I yeah. wanted to try and get a set of Inquisitions in there, but I'm, it's like, mm, excuse me. Little it's either do I, run, do I run the Aether Vials or do I run the Inquisitions? And right. I'd rather have the Aether Vials for the speed yeah. and, the, and the ability to uh, go under counter magic because while there really aren't any good counter he heavy decks at the moment, there's still a lot of tempo decks that run counter magic, such as Twins, such as um, Affinity. Well, Affinity doesn't really run counter magic, but... Uh, twin does, and so does the, the Geist decks, the blue, basically most blue decks run some kind of disruption that Vile allows me to bypass. Right, and you said you've beaten Twin a number of times today. 
This deck looks to just really beat up with it. Of course, you got paths, you got yeah. abrupt decays, and you even got the main deck spell skites that a lot of I decks have. I faced twin three times today. I have two owed them all three times. All right. So if you're looking to stomp down on twin, this could be the potential brew. Let's take a look at the sideboard here. A couple of chokes, just mm -hmm. hating on them islands. Yeah. Some rest in peace. You don't really have that much graveyard interaction, so you don't really care about that. Exactly. Cross and grips are dealing with problems and uh, permanents. Now you've got a Blood Baron of Viscopa in here. That, that's the one that stuck out to me. So that's actually a cave in to what happened last night at FNM. <laughs> I lost to a blue or to a uh, white black martyr proclamation deck because we just stalled out and he slams a Blood Baron and I'm like, I've got nothing that can beat this card in my deck. Right. So I've decided that we that we, we cave into the one Blood Baron. It's also really good against any white or black based removal deck, um, opposing Abzan decks. Yeah. So it, it's good to have a, an answer or to an unanswerable threat for those kinds of more popular right. decks. You've got some Zealous Persecutions and Golgari Charms functioning as minus one, minus ones and things like right. that. Right. Golgari Charm also hits uh, enchantments. I actually beat a Merfolk player because I Golgari Charmed his Spreading Seas that he, uh, that he played that turn to keep him from being able to get Island Walk on me. All right. Very, very nice. And a couple of Torpor Orbs and some stuff to hate on Affinity. Right. So, rounding out the bunch. Well, the deck looks sweet. Are there any changes you would make after playing with it today so far? Well, Your uh, X2 after seven rounds? Yeah, obviously I want to get the second Scavenging Ooze in there. But what to take out for that, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm still, it, it's, it's still a work in progress. I mean, th this thing is literally two days old. Right. So, I, I definitely... Um, I definitely want to work on it more. Um, I might want to try and get a third spell skite in the main, uh, and I, I definitely want to fit a second idol on a rhetoric somewhere in the board because right. that guy that guy is actually surprisingly good in this format. All right. Well, the deck is sweet. For only two days old, you've got a nice start here. Carl, thanks for sitting down with me here yeah. on the sideboard. Stay tuned to StarCityGames.com all weekend long for the action here in Baltimore.